Get all your football news as it breaks with Football Flash. Hello, welcome to Monday Night Masturbate. It's Christmas Eve. I hope everybody's done their shopping. I haven't. I've got to do it after this. Oh, is that me? I'm making noises. There we go. I'm joined. We've got a studio for today for the new look uh, UFF studio. We've got Devo. We have got Drifty. The main man, Have Hope, is here with his crazy crackhead opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and Neeks as well from Neek Sports and, of course, the Football Terrace. So um, we're here and we are going to be having a, a great debate. That I'm so excited about Ooh, this. Ricky, spotted the Football Terrace? Yes. It does, my, it does our fan camps. Like poaching guys like this, man. <laughs> and that's a bit, it wasn't poaching, business offer. Business offer. Mm -hmm. But there we go. Um, yeah, what are we talking about? Great debate. Great debate. Yeah, great it's debate. going to be a great debate today. I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be sort of the, the, the arbitrator in many ways. We are going to be picking the best Premier League team so far this season. We're going to be debating every single position and the formation. So, of course, everyone in the comments below, let us know what you think. Let us know what you feel. If you agree with the boys, if you've got any other suggestions. We are using Sky Sports website. So there are only a select amount of players for each position. So if we don't, if there's not a player on that list that you like, don't blame us, blame Sky. We're using their website to do it. The link it will be in the, is in the description below. So go and check it out. So what we do, we'll jump straight into the first part of this debate. What formation we're going to use? Four three three. Four three three. I'm cool with that, but four two three one would have been fine for me as well. Uh, nah, nah, I'm nah. Four, four three three, man. Four three three. Four two three one. <laughs> <laughs> How many four, players four, do you want? Four, 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 four two three one. No, four two three one. Four three two one. I don't know. Four, 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 I think mean, that makes I'm, it more, in, that makes it more that, interesting because yeah, yeah. everyone does four three three. So we'll jump into the first position. This is I'm, I'm really excited about this one. So there are four options to choose from for goalkeeper. We, I think we scrapped the first one straight away. I, I, I'm assuming it's Jordan Pickford. Of course, after the yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah. What, what are the four choices that we have? Yeah, Jordan, <laughs> Jordan Pickford, Ellison, Edison, and of course David De Gea. Edison, it's, 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 it's not it's even De Gea. an argument, De Gea. is it? Edison. De Gea. Edison, De Gea, De Gea, you're a Liverpool fan, what are you That's saying? That's De Gea, man. De Gea. Well, De Gea. What, the first half of this season? Yeah, this is the start of the year. Just the because Man you doing no, the badly, it doesn't mean that he season. ain't been pulling off wonderful no, saves. No, no, no. Wait, you so, haven't been watching Man United? How many times still, is making saves? Wait, are you being serious? <laughs> He's, maybe he's had no, a few um, clangers, but that's I, just because I, United are getting peppered. I, I, he's still been a great not, goalkeeper. Not, not gonna lie, I thought you were joking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were asking yeah, what you were about as well. All right. No, so, I, I, I wouldn't have the hair because oh, right. no, Edison. Oh wait, I didn't. I, I, let me say what I'm saying, isn't it? I, I, I wouldn't say the hair because, and maybe he may be uh, a victim of his own success. I've yeah. seen how good the hair can be, and. I was saving for the whole of 2018, and including um, this season, he hasn't been at his best. He's made mistakes where he usually doesn't and i guess every on purpose every kid can make mistakes but he's made mistakes <laughs> where, where, where um he usually hasn't and I, don't, I just don't think he's been at his best as making saves where we know he can i agree with that so 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 who are you choosing then i i would it's between the two brazilians no and, don't choose what don't do any diddy do something on the fence man choose the field man it's between the two uh brazilians just on your point in terms of errors leading to goals this season jordan pickford's made two errors that have led to goals ellison's made two that ellison, have, ellison sorry has led to two that have, yeah. that have led to goals edison won none and david Hare only one yeah so which was arsenal yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah that, that's uh, i think based on that you would say edison but Allison's got the highest what save percentage of yeah. the season. He does yeah. concede the least goals. No good to defense. So Listen, I'll no, no, that, the fact no, 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 the whole clean sheet so, thing. So we got nah, nah, two for the Haya, one for. I'm saying Edison. You're saying. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Allison. Well, it's two one one. So we're gonna mm. go with David De Gea. We're gonna yeah, go the general you know consensus and doing? go with De Gea. And I'm Wait, surprised if anyone else is to say that. I, I'm not getting to say. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I'll, I'll, I'll only say if it's a dead heat. I'll be oh, like okay. Simon Cowell with dead heat. If, but if I would De Gea, man. No, I'm saying if I would have said anyone other than Allison, I'd be a hater. <laughs> so I'm glad you said that. <laughs> but you so, said Edison. No, but I'm saying if I would have went first and said anyone other than Allison, I would have got called a hater. The reason I'm picking De Gea over Allison is because I don't just want to involve stats. Statistically, mm. he's mm. the best. That's obvious, and he's been outstanding. And his two mistakes are like, oh. but 
I watched De Gea do things for Man United that mean instead of having 29 goals conceded, you'd have like 45. It's the quality mm. of saves as well. Yeah. This is what I'm so saying. I, I know this it's Champions League, but everybody was talking about... Boys. Ellison's save the other night against uh, Napoli mm. was amazing. But the save, for instance, against Young mm. Boys, they do, I know they're not Premier League mm. saves, but... He pulls off saves that nobody else can make. It and isn't that, just a percentage, that, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. And he's got the defence in front of him that's whatless. He does. Right? <laughs> no, no, bricks. No, no, I, 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 like, I, if you have bricks in front of you and you're still making no, those saves, I, I'm, not, I'm not penalising the hair for the amount of goals he's conceded, mm. not at all, because as you said, what he's, um, what he's got in front of him. But there's certain things that the hair is not doing now that he used to do, in, even in terms of crosses coming to the box. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. He's, that he's, just, he's just not coming for. Yeah, he's yeah, letting yeah, the defence yeah. deal or try to be bothered, man. So. Okay, but I, we're going to go with we're going to go with the higher because the consensus okay. has it on there. Let's jump on to I think this will be an easy position. Mm. Left back. Okay. So the option. Well, there's we can kind of pick the way they do it on uh, Sky. Is you can pretty much put any defender you want oh, in, okay. into that position. But in terms of people that could potentially go into that position, you've got Mendy. You have uh, Andy Robertson, Ben Just Chilwell. Stop there, move on. Uh, or Marcos Alonso. <laughs> no, <I'm>, what? <laughs> Alonso. Alonso's on the there. list. Yeah. yeah, he's always there. Like yeah, he plays left back. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, because he plays <laughs> left back, he doesn't. No, he doesn't he's, have to be on that list. Short, he's in the no, short really. list. Yeah. yeah. It's Andy Robertson. We can all agree this. Yeah. 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 No. yeah. Uh, because Mendy's had his injuries, I'll, I'll go with Robertson. Okay. As, no, as, as still, if Mendy still has to put in. I'm just saying it because Mendy. Mendy was that Mendy. Are both at their peak, you're not putting Robertson over. Exactly. Man. If Mendy was, has injuries, because Mendy was, has been... There's no listen. No, no, no. Sane 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 hold on, hold on. Sane Sane Mendy Sane is a quality left back, there's yeah. no doubt. But for you to dismiss Robertson being as, as good as him, what, Rob just because he's Scottish? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Robertson <laughs> is a phenomenal left back. Ro Robertson both, are their, both of their peak Robert is better. Robertson's Robertson. at his peak right now, and he's absolutely flying, bro. There isn't a better... For me, in terms of defensively and going forward, Barring Marcelo, there isn't a better left back in the uh, world right now. You, you are. There's, 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 that's, <laughs> I love a Man United fan saying that. Yeah, but you know the thing is, Alaba. What? Wait, wait, wait. Robertson is he's the best. You have Jordi Alba. Yes. No, 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 no. He, uh, he said yes. the you balance know, of both defense, defenders and, and Jordi Alba, Alba no. defensively and going wait, forward. Marcelo and Alaba and those kind of guys are great, but defensively, Marcelo's Marcelo Marcelo a good defender. I didn't Marcelo's a good defender. He's not. No, he's not. Marcelo, he's His attacking is so much better than his defense. Marcelo is top three. No one on his defense. I'm not saying he's top three. You can't put him better than Jordi Alba. He is underrated as a defender because he's attacking so good. Gents, let's slow this down a second. Let's slow this down a sec. So we are agreeing that Robinson is in this Premier League team of the season yeah, so far yeah, yep cool but he's not touching Alba, right Alba. back who are we putting in as right back Dev who would you put in as your right back oh, yeah. oh man you know what it's got to be Kyle Reese. that's a tough one I don't think there's been any, any really outstanding right backs this season um Carl think... Reese is not on the list. <laughs> no, Kyle Walker, by Carl, yeah. Oh, sorry. Ten, yeah, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the, the, I was like, I don't know who that Kyle, is. Kyle Walker's been good. Um, I think Bellerin's been good up until the last couple of weeks. Bellerin's not on the list. He's not, he's not on the list. Rightly so. What? And rightly so. Right. Let's, 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 let's not get you, um, you can't have an Arsenal or a Man United defender on this list when they've conceded the amount of goals they've conceded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he's been him. good this season. Shout out Bellerin. He's been he, better than he, he had yeah. been in the past. But I don't know how and he's he vegan and he's still managing to do all of that. I'll throw this one out there to you all. What about someone like Mac Doherty? Oh, you know what? Yep. Uh, you I know would, what? He's got me so many points in fantasy football. Has, yeah. I'm going for him. <laughs> you know about it. Drift, yeah, he knows. I'm going to come to Drifty, Liverpool fan. Trent or G Gomez, who would you put there? It, from a Liverpool team. If you're talking about full-on balance, then I'm putting Trent there. I think Gomez is better when you just need somebody okay. to be a bit more defensive. Mm -hmm. But if you want to have the full balance of the way the team flows, it's Trent all day. Kyle Walker, man. I mean, come Kyle Walker, yeah. another yeah. one. It's Wan like, I mean... Huh? Wan Bissaka. He's, start, he's start, right? well, But you know he's not on the not, list. He's not on the list. No, he's not on the list. He's not on the short list. No, he's got the best. The best. Um, well, statistically, he's have got hopes going to have an aneurysm when you say that. He's got the, the best uh, tackles won and the best duel. Like no one's gone past him. People don't beat him. As a right back for Crystal Palace, I think he that's gets probably a lot, a lot to do with his pace rather than his actual tackling. Though, yeah, but, he's very quick. but he's got the most tackles won as well. So, so people are just dismissing Kyle Walker because he plays for. Pep. Did, did, did we say that? No, no. We didn't mention that. Not saying you even spoke yet. <laughs> Calm down, dear. Calm down. By the way, I didn't actually pick Trent. No, we, we, no, 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 with Walker, I think I would just because, especially with Trent having a few injuries, he hasn't played as many games as, mm -hmm. as Walker. And Nick's yourself, 
I'm going with Doherty. Well. So two Doherty, for Doherty, yeah. two for Carl Walker. So I get the deciding vote. I'm going to go with Matt Doherty. I'm going to throw him in there. I, I, I've been really impressed with Wolves this year. I'm going to give him a shout out. He's been brilliant. He's scoring goals as well, I'm not mad at that, which is important. Yeah. Centre back position. So we're going to do the right side. The right side. It doesn't matter if it's left or right. Yeah, left right, or right. So centre back. Matter, okay. All right. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Left side. Right side of the brain. Maths. Hang on. Hang on. The brain don't work like that, mate. No, no, no. Not left side. Maybe that explains a lot. Numbers. Right side are images. That explains a lot. Yeah. I thought you meant like left foot and right foot for a second. I was just checking. Cool. Naming one at a time or both? One. Uh, let's do oh, both. Let's do it as a pair. Let's do it as a pair. So, Nick, who would be your pairing? Who would you pick? Best two centre backs this year? Van Dyke and Laporte. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah bang on. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that's, that's, that is yeah. easy. No, 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 Virgil easy. van Dyke. I'm putting van Dyke on the right, though, and Laporte on the left because I think van Dyke's better and he could adapt well, on the left. Laporte's left wing. Yeah. And, and, no, also, no, and also, van Dyke plays left for us mainly. When Gomez or, or, or um, Lovren yeah, plays, plays, van Dyke plays on the left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. But Laporte's left wing. So cool. Yeah. Also, um, yeah. Didi, pick Laporte. Stop messing around. Oh, Deschamps. Oh, Deschamps. Deschamps. Yeah. yeah, Deschamps. Wait, it's kind well, of. He can, he, can, he can play for um, Spain as well, yeah, isn't he? Yeah. So. No, but he's been saying that Didi doesn't pick him. So I, I, I know, he, I'm saying he can play. I'm saying he, okay, yeah. say he can play. He's a, he's a Spanish player. Yeah, yeah, but with, it, with, with France, like, it's, it's so it. hard. It's, it's literally like. I mean, it's like FHM's really... like top 100 sexiest women. It's a really hard list to compile. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah. Sorry if that offends any women, but it's a great list. He wouldn't play over um, TT or oh, He should be Varane, there. Varane has, has been sketchy and um, TT's injured. So yeah. based on, on form, he should be there. Based on but form, we'll see. The international break is not until the next year. Yeah. But he gets happen. into our team. Yeah. Right, yeah. so we've got the two holding midfielders. I think some one one of, one of the holding midfielders, midfielders is a shoe in for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Manu Matic. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the Manu Static. <laughs> Straight in, yeah. So look, Dev, I'll go to you, yourself first. Who would you pick to play in, in, in the two central midfielders? Where they're holding, Torreira. you'd put Torreira in. Lucas Torreira all day, every day. Um, and who else would go in there for you? Uh, you know, it's weird because I, I want to say Kante, but obviously Kante has been moved around. So I know, that's what's going to make um, this a bit weird. Yeah. Uh, he can't let Fernandinho has been good as well. Fernandinho has had a good season. Look, man. So look, they're, 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 they're I'm going to go Torreira and Fernandinho. Torreira and Fernandinho. Yeah. What? If we're having two holding men, yeah. The you same Fernandinho just... that's bricked at the World Cup. Fine. This is, cool. but, but this is the this Premier League. League. This is the Premier League. <laughs> Nothing to do with the World Cup, mate. Cool. Drifty. Who are you? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go uh, Fernandinho and Wijnaldum. What? <laughs> That's just bias. Why? That is complete and total bias. Hold on. What? One of them is not a Liverpool bias. player, mate. How does that work? How, how is it? But have, do you watch Win, Liverpool? Wait, Wijnaldum you, you know and he... Fernandinho. Oh, yeah. That is Wijnaldum complete. on the list. That is really ridiculous. Who, who, um, Wijnaldum on the list. Yes. Yes. Okay. Genie's do you on know there. Even class. Yeah, he's been oh, good. He's been really good. I, I, I actually, I picked my team earlier. I actually put James Milner in central midfield yeah. in mine. I did four three three though, but. Yeah. So who, 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 how about yourself? Yeah, yeah go on. Uh, Torreira and Kante, that's the real... Kante, that's, that's he, the Kante hasn't been playing. Has he played yet? central that's... midfield this year? Yes. Like, hold him, man. No, he's played central midfield. That's the question. Midfield. That's that's midfield. Midfield. That's 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 why can't Kante? But Nardo has... Over who? Nardo has played Holden. Yeah, that's where Nardo plays. Holden. I'm a little bit confused why Jorginho is being ignored. Has he nah, not been I classed? I don't think he's been that great. Nah. Really? No. I think he started like a whirlwind and then well. all of a sudden he's tried to start it's killing it's people. I'm, one thing I'm shocked it. about is Naby Keita ain't on the list. <laughs> and when he first started, I remember people telling me he was like the he's best. Been, he's been injured a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. No Fred either. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> I just ratioed so at one so it's, club. So you said Wijnaldum and who? Fernandinho? Yeah. So Wijnaldum over Torreira and Wijnaldum over Kante. That's what you're, you're trying to tell me. Kante hasn't played holding this. So you, no, you're saying Wijnaldum over Torreira and yeah. Kante. Okay, cool. Yeah. I don't think you watch Liverpool's midfield if you don't think Wijnaldum bosses game. Hang on, what, 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 what I throw out there, and I can't believe I'm doing this, like Liverpool are top of the league. Mm -hmm. mm. Midfield is the engine of every. You don't win or be top of the league without a good midfield. And Wijnaldum is the reason why they're there. <laughs> no, no, he's he's, he's really a small good. piece, but is he the key reason why they're there? He's been very good this season. He's, we don't have one key. We're a whole team, mate. <laughs> uh, well, no, no. Mane, Van Dijk, and Salah are pretty much very important but, pieces. But who would you pick? More important than all but who, of those who, would you, who would you? Who would your pick again? It was Torreira and Kante. But why are none of their teams on top of the league then? If they're that good, is that the key? Oh no, no, no. But like one guy, literally by himself. Look, this is football. One guy by himself is not going to carry whole team by himself. 
But you just said that Wijnaldum, like, is he the main, is he the main guy? That's a contradiction in no, itself. No, 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 no. I'm saying that Wijnaldum has. Or am a, I confused here? Wijnaldum has no, a very no, good contradiction. Yeah. I think we're no, all not. in the same confusion. No, no, I understand what you're saying. No, no, is a, a, cord, good, a cog in the wheel. Yeah, he has yeah. a very good team and his system around him. Rather this, than him being. This the system that Kante is in is evolving. The system that Torreira is in is evolving. Is this is Klopp's what's third year now? What's that got to do with anything? Yes, it does because. And like, you watch Van Alden when he goes and plays for Holland as well. Listen, Premier Van Alden, man. Premier League. Let's stick yeah. it to Premier League. Van Alden. It's, it's actually a tough Look one. Here, man. Yeah. It is actually a tough one. Um. Yeah, this is, I'll go listen to Neeks on this because obviously being a Man United fan, you haven't got a dog in this fight. No Man United midfielder has made the shortlist. Mm. Really? Just not one. Not even Fellaini. Labille. <laughs> Labille. Not one. Uh, Torreira. Definitely. Torreira, right. Yeah, I think Torreira's got a universal. He's in. He's Torreira's in, so I'm going to select yeah. him now because everybody, three of the four have said Torreira, so he's in there. So there's one spot open. Fernandinho's been an option. Kante is an option. Gian Wijnaldum is an option. Uh, or would you go for somebody completely different? I, 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 I am going to go for something completely oh, different. God, just try me different. But, uh, no, no, because I don't believe the players that have been named. I just don't believe they mm. have been exceptional. Um, but the question, obviously the question is about whether they've played this season. I'm going to put my two central midfielders as a word room for the holding. Torreira and Musa Sissoko. What? <laughs> 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 He's left. <laughs> he changed his guard. <laughs> You know what? Call him crazy, but Sissoko I'm not calling him crazy. A great uh, player I, uh, that's a Christmas cracker. I'm not, this is just hating. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> laughing at what your decision. I'm laughing at their reaction, yeah. but... Listen, have... Sissoko has been a really good player this no, season. He has. He, he's, he's done very so, well for I, me. I, I, I'm, I watch Man City, and this, oh, this season, I'm not good. saying these players aren't good, but I'm not looking at, like, oh, brilliant game, Fernandinho. I'm not looking at Chelsea and, like, brilliant game, Kante. It's the more the forward players... That are doing the business. But when it comes to Spurs, especially with all the injuries they've had, Dembele, mm. uh, Dyer, Ericsson, Ali, Sissoko has been a beast. But do you not think it's because it's Musa Sissoko and he's playing well that it's like, wow, he's doing really well? There it's not so much. It could be. No, I think it's it could be, but I disagree. I think, you want to think that because yeah. you hate him so No, no, no. Much. no I'm no, saying no, no, he has. No, I'm saying it could be that. But I don't think it is that. I think he literally has. I think he's embellished. has been embellished. Do you think he's influencing Spurs to the same level that I think? Spurs have had the greatest start to their Premier League season ever, which it might not say that much because we're in the past. Because they're a small club. Equally, there's games such as the one against Man City and... Oh, there was there was another game after I can't remember where, um, Chelsea the Chelsea game, yeah. brilliant, mm. brilliant. So regardless of what he what we expect him or don't expect him to do, because I've seen him play for France in a central mm. midfield and he's been brilliant as well. Yeah. So I don't I, I don't go into those looking at Spurs mm. games with a, a bias to say Sissoko's not a good player, yeah. he's not going to do no, well. I hear that. I hear that. Like, I'm, that's, that's my two. Didn't oh, show up wow. at Emirates though, did he? So wow. the, so we, we, we've decided on Torreira. So the options are Sissoko. Kante, Genie, Fernandinho. and Fernandinho. It's basically, going to have to be it's, Fernandinho. It's, it's going to be Kante, man. Well, we, bo- we both said Fernandinho. So basically, so, oh, so yeah. it's oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, then it is, then it's Fernandinho. Sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. What? What? Just... Man, dumb democracy sucks. <laughs> <man. laughs> There's so many jokes I could say, but I'll get... <laughs> I will never be allowed on YouTube again. <laughs> Um, Fernandinho it is but there were some other options on it no, noticeable central midfielders that could have been picked as well um, Gilfie Sigerson was on the list uh, do you know what uh, uh, Gomez uh, Everson was also on that list as well James Milner was there mm, and really I think he deserves quality. yeah shout out um, because of the formation we've gone with if you've gone for 4-3-3 you might have looked at someone like David Silva he might go mm. further up the field mm. um, Sissoko is obviously on that man. list Felipe Anderson, he's more of a wide midfielder. Jal yeah. Martinio is on there. And of course, uh, the, the Watford guy, his name just Ducare. dropped. Dakare is on there as well. So no, yeah. no support, good shortlist. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't disagree <coughs> with uh, the shortlist of people that are on there. So um, yeah, interesting. Some good people selected. But Fernandinho and Torreira, we have gone with. Now really moving on to some of the the real difficult ones. I, I almost feel like I want to start with the striker rather than the three midfielders behind him because I think the three mid people behind him is going to be even harder than yeah, the striker. Yeah. So let's start with the striker. I'll come to yourself first, 
Mr. Have Hope. Hey. <laughs> Boy, wait, I suppose, wait, why are you, are you coming to me first? Because you haven't come first. Because I haven't come to you first once oh, before. Oh, okay, okay, Just cool, democracy cool. is not always bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 democracy is still overrated. Democracy is still overrated, man. Oh, we're not, I'm not, we're not getting on to a political debate because uh, I'm not allowed to talk politics. <laughs> um, who would be your striker of the season thus far? Who would you personally pick? Um, I'll give you an idea of the... Op- well, the options are... There, there's a good few striker options here. Are there? Aubameyang, Lacazette. Callum Wilson, Glenn Murray, Zaha Richarlison, Mitrovic, Mane Aguero, Anthony Martial, Son, Class A Harry Kane, Anatovic, and uh, Yao Yemenez. Sergio Aguero is not even up for a dun- dun- He's debate. been the best this season. You asked me a question, I'm giving you the answer. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's no debate. Okay, no, there, Sergio there, Aguero. There is a debate. I, I'm going to ask you a question. Explain to me why. He in my view, has been the best striker for pretty much the last two, three years. In no, 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 no. This season, what, this are, he, what, are, he, what are his two or three standout games? Explain them to me. What did he do in those games? Who are they against? Give me the nuances of that performance. Oh, no, no, no. Every single game that I've seen of No, no, name the games. Every single no, game no, no, I've no, seen no, of no, Sergio Aguero. That is uh, hiding behind bullshit. No, no, no. no <laughs> right tell there. me the games. Every single, no. The games. Can't we? Let's meet. No, let me land. Tell me me land. Let me land. Listen, actually, you don't, like demo- you don't like democracy, so I am now going to dictate to you. <laughs> Tell me the games. Have hope. Let it, let it kind of land. You're, you're, you're too high strong. You're too high strong. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Man. Let, that, let, that, let, that let me live, man. Let me live, That is code four. I'm trying to think of what to say, and Look, I don't know what to say. because Sergio have... Kun Aguero, the dude from Argentina, <laughs> you long is all bro. around has been the best what striker games? this season. In every what single games? game that I've seen of That's him. That's cop out. by How many goals has he got this season, Aguero? Maybe six. Look, how, many goals, how many goals yeah, has he got, actually? I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a stats merchant. I'm not a stats merchant. Sorry, I said. Aguero is all around. Aguero has just been in a different class I think you've got a shush now Dev, Dev, Dev Terry, you can't be biased for being English and supporting Harry Kane that's been biased Harry Kane is good he's not in Aguero's class sorry who's next, who's next, who's next, who's next, who's next, who's next next? I didn't even mention Harry Kane's name yet you said class A Harry Kane which has been biased that's what I called him you, you can't use English bias here, man. Can't use English bias. <laughs> and, and, I also, and I also accentuated the name when I said Anthony Martial. Now, he is a French. No, 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 no. Yeah. I, there was a little wink in your eye. I was like, oh, Anthony Martial. I was yeah. winking at yeah, you, yeah, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. why I came to you first. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Neeks, go on. Neeks. Best striker yeah, of the I'm, season I'm for you. Look, my just, just say Aguera, Aguera, Aguera. Man. Just, just <laughs> I'm just struggling with this one. Come on, man. Uh, Callum Wilson. You see, okay, like, what, okay, okay, why, okay, why, why, why do you say that? Let me laugh. Because he's English bias. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Callum joke. Wilson, I think, obviously, that he's playing for Bournemouth, so I'm not, I don't expect uh, the, you know, the returns mm-hmm. that I would expect from uh, a player in a top six team, but he's matching them. I'm, obviously, I'm not saying he's top of the league because obviously he's not. One of the uh, top scorers actually a midfielder, um, if you were going to class mm. him as a so. Two of them really. Well, no, the two top are one to strike, one to midfield. But he's got eight um, goals for Bournemouth. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's, so he's two behind the top goal scorers, if I'm correct. And he's playing for Bournemouth. I've seen him in big games. Yeah. Um, when I say big games, games against cl- clubs bigger than him, such as uh, Manchester United. And he doesn't look he doesn't look out of place. Hence why he got his England call up. And so so well. Wilson over Aguero, that's what you're trying well, to tell well, me. Well, seeing as I picked him, I put him over above <laughs> everyone. And remember this. For me, for this, this season, this and, season. And, and equally, yeah. he is, he's been Bournemouth's uh, main striker for the whole season. Yep. No injuries, if yep. I'm correct. Josh King no, has... He missed the Liverpool game. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, that's and, why, and that's why they the, lost. And then the game after that. <laughs> <laughs> what we but, oh, yeah, 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 yeah sorry, he's recently sorry, got injured, isn't it? Josh King was out, and then he had to lead the line without Josh King for a number of games. Um, and that's why Chelsea's interested I, in him. Do you know what, as well? Do, and do I say, look, I'm, I'm, have fun, I get your point. This isn't a debate of who's the best players in yeah. the league. It's who's oh, no, performed no, no. the best this season. Yeah. So you don't have to be better than Aguero oh, no, no, no. to yeah. outperform yeah, the yeah, yeah, out yeah. there. Um, Drifty, best striker. Um, if I'm honest with you, I'm actually torn between Callum Wilson and Aubameyang. Mm. Um, I... See, the thing is, I'm trying to figure out what's more important with regards to the goals they've scored because Aubameyang scored goals that have helped come back from Arsenal that kept that run going. But then Callum Wilson <laughs> plays for Bournemouth who have no right to score goals. <laughs> and I mean that with the most respect. <laughs> and he's got eight, like you said. Like He has no right to have that many goals as a striker for a team like Bournemouth, and he has. Um, oh, man, it is a tough one. It really is a tough one. Um Dev, what about yourself? I'll let, I'll let Drifty you know dwell I'm, on that. I'm torn between the two, exact same two players. Because um, Aubameyang, 
Um, his goal scoring rate this season is, you know, he's flying. Um, Who's done it in the bigger games, in your opinion? That, that's what I was just thinking. Yeah, I mean, that's why... Aubameyang did it against in the Northland Derby. Yeah, he did it against... But he didn't turn up against Man United. This is the thing. He missed Charles against City. Every game is a big game. You know what I mean? And that's my point. Like... The other one I also just want to throw in there, not that I think he, he's been the best, but I want to throw it. Glenn Murray. That guy is what? Yeah. 35, yeah, 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 yeah. Eight, eight goals and as well. And he's still banging goals. That's like was he on the list? Like Murray. Uh, Glenn yeah. Murray. He, ooh, I, I don't sorry. think he yeah, was. He was on there. Oh, was, was he? Oh, I don't remember. Yeah, Glenn Murray. I don't remember him. No, he's not. He's not on there. Glenn yeah, Murray yeah. is not on the short list. Guy's, no, 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 no. He is, he is, he is. He's banging goals for fun of Brighton. And he's in the twilight of his career, shall we say. Do you know what? Because he came back from that massive injury, I'm going to give it to Callum. Callum Wilson also has five assists this season. Between him and Fraser, that combination. Yeah, Fraser's... That combination ripping up trees too. So, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go with Callum Wilson. And, and that's something that Aguero. So Callum Wilson a, over Aguero. Callum Wilson's in. Have hope. How are you feeling about that, brother? Look, man, democ- democracy is how you guys rule. So cool. <laughs> how you? You're part of us. Democracy is how you guys rule. So you're put, in, the, put you're put in this Wilson circle, in brother. Man. You're in this circle. You're trying. You 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 can't look past how good he is overall. That's yeah. what your problem is. We're not saying that Wilson is better than Aguero. That would be lunacy. You know, but based on what he has done in what seventeen games, eight goals, look, five assists. That's twelve again, contributions. I, in, in, look, I get and it. Over seventeen games, because you said he's missed his last two, yeah, so it's yeah. twelve contributions yeah, in fifteen, 15 games. games. When when oh, this when this brilliant. when this team lo- lo- loses games, I'll blame you guys then. Because it, this, <laughs> this team is not to... playing anyone. Like. <laughs> if you pull the players <laughs> behind Callum Wilson, he'll be banging them in. He's doing it. <laughs> doing it already. All right, pull, 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 pull Wilson. Number in. ten, <laughs> playing in the number ten role the whole. Oh, oh, this is easy. Oh, easy it? Why is it easy? <laughs> Ozil. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it easy? Who, who would you go with? He's not even the, the, the best, the best player in the Premier League. <laughs> who in the number ten role? Who? Who? It would be insulting if I have to <laughs> no, say. You have to say no, no. name. No, no, no. It's been it, insulting. I'm, Everybody knows. By, by me saying it, you're 10. insulting. Oh, hold it, hold it. I, I just clocked on to what he's what he's gonna say. Absolutely no fucking way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no fucking way. Look, it, he, he can't bat up Liverpool B and, you know, have a few and then, like, die for 10, 11 games and all of a sudden he's... No, no. My guy, straight I'm up. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> Purple <there's>, patch player. <laughs> there's no way. Absolutely he's not been, he's not been no consistent way. Enough, yeah, there's I, I no need, way. I need to say the name. I, just need, I, 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 I need to say yeah. it. Say the name. Hazard. People know what who, 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 what his name is. Everyone, everyone says it. Everyone says it. Hazard at ten. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip it up a little bit because obviously uh, this you know I'm gonna put Sterling in number ten. You see why why would you? Oh, do that? I know why he wants to do that. Oh, why okay. why, gonna, why, why, why would you do that? I'm gonna put Sterling oh, in number yeah, ten. Yeah, I know why he wants to do that. Curveball. Hazard, Sterling, Devo. Who do you put in at number ten yeah, role? Firstly, let me just shout out James Madison because I think he's done well. I'm not gonna put him in there, but he's done very well. Um, he's made the shortlist, oh, and he yeah. took Morris's space. Like, yeah. Um, part of me wants to. Is David Silver in this? In this David Silver is there. David Silver, oh man. Um, yeah, it's a difficult one. He is. You know what? This wait, is tough. Is, wait, is, I'm gonna it, put David Silver. I'm gonna say David Silver for me. I think there's so, a guy that's 11 assists away from the re- record. I'm just saying, for you start guys out there. What? Mm. What about the number 10 role? Is about playmaking and, and creativity. Mm. There's a guy who's it's, eleven it's assists. Also, it's also away. about guys who's, who's played in eleven assists. assists. Who, who's away. that? You know, you know who he is. Nick's who, what, who's 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 eleven assists away from what record? The record for most assists in a season held by Interior your boy, yeah. which is which is that is insane. Yeah, 20, that is flipping 20, insane. Well, that is insane. I, I don't know. He's not naming names, so I'm not going to assume anything in it. But I know that Fabregas tried and failed, yeah. and he was he got very Ozil, close. Ozil, Ozil close. tried and failed, yeah. and De Bruyne tried and failed. So well, being eleven yeah. assists away, and Ozil was at like seventeen or something yeah, by like and Christmas, yeah, and then and I did just, one for the rest yeah, of the year. Yeah, yeah. But equally, what I see a little bit with Hazard, and I know that Hazard's fanboys are going to get really angry when I say this. Is, <laughs> do you know last season? I think that when he when he got. Like you had a couple of games for Man United where Mekatar now by the way I'm not saying Mekatarians is good <laughs> before you get you see, your knickers in a twist I mean you see but, what this guy's but doing. last year in the first couple of games for Man United got like four or five assists didn't assist again mm. moved to Arsenal in his first couple of games got four or five assists and was right at the top of the, the, the assist chart so again like Hazard's got a lot of assists and, and a lot of goals this year but for me they're in really short patches of games when I look at someone like David Silva he is a consistent game off, game 9 game out of 10 game. performer. Whether it's what you hate stats or not, he is consistently performing. And with, and with Eden Hazard, we saw him go from like the early stage of October until the last game without 
being the main man. Being, he looks good on the eye, a few good flicks and tricks, but didn't do anything in the game. Mm. It just, it's just aesthetically pleasing. Do you know what I mean? That's what it comes down to. That's the problem. I'm, I'm not going to say too much on it until we finish the team in it. But <laughs> my number 10, David Silva. David Silva. Yeah, yeah, David Silva. David Silva. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. David Silva, it is. Left hand side of the attack. Oh, that's why I'm left with some problems, go. man. <laughs> For me, Eden just... Hazard. I also got Hazard. I would, I, see, I would agree. If I was I having to, a vote, I would agree with you. I, I would put Hazard, Hazard on the left hand side. Over. Are, based, on, based on this season. You are Come on, no, I'm, listen. Who would you put in front of him? Mane. No. no, see, if we see if we're talking, no, stop. If we're going to talk about <laughs> listen, 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 Look at Mane. Mane started the season three, Fire. Three, four, four games. Fire. Fire. And then yes. he, go, he goes through these little patches where do, he doesn't do nah, anything. Nah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not just, he he put some respect not, to not, not the way Hazard, Hazard does. Play, he's still Hazard, involved remember, in the game. Remember Hazard. He's, he's not Hazard, a Hazard where like, Hazard you'll be like, what's Hazard playing today? Remember, oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that, don't do that. Mane Hazard has had a very good season. Hazard been injured at times. Remember, Hazard was injured and come back and gone out. But when Hazard has played, even now that he's moving to the false nine position, he has performed this season. I'm not saying Mane hasn't performed, but if we're going to talk, if we're going to say Hazard we're gonna say been s- inconsistent, okay, got, I think Mane got, has been as inconsistent. I'm not saying he's been inconsistent, sorry. but as inconsistent as Hazard. So we've got Mane and Hazard that we're saying are inconsistent. What about a shout out for Richarlison? He's been brilliant. Yeah. Who yeah. has not been inconsistent at all. Is, he's been up he front been, for he Everton. Been but he's, but he's, between both. He's, he's yeah. kind of been their striker for the majority, right? Uh, uh, yeah. I'll say by half. He's been a striker. Felipe Anderson is a great shout. Felipe Anderson, he's been consistent from oh. about three, four weeks I mean, onwards. It, and, three weeks? From about the first three or four games onwards, he's been pretty consistent for West Ham. He peaked in that Man United game, then he dipped, and he's come back recently. No, no, guys, guys, come on. Left hand side, it's it's Mane, man. Mane left. And so you would, so you would pick Mane over Hazard. Right. You'd pick him over Hazard. When Hazard Sane. plays the majority of his games on the left. Hazard doesn't play no, no, number no, no, 10. No, no, Chelsea no. don't play with favor number 10 like that. So I don't even know how no, you put Hazard I'm very confused by you. A guy who is top three in the world with the playmaking prowess that he has. Hang on. I'm Who's putting him in, in number 10. Hazard, you know Marcelo. who he is. You know, oh. I don't have his name. You put him in the number 10. But that's not where he plays. That's not where he plays. I'm putting him there. You put him in that number 10. He's going to create for all of you guys. Yeah, but but then, why the will... then why doesn't anyone left. play him there? Mane, no, no. Mane's <laughs> left. <laughs> like, all these, all these coaches who have won like major trophies, coaching badges, oh, what don't won? put him there. How many trophies has Hazard? Okay, apart from sorry. Okay, cool. But nobody else plays him on, everyone plays him on the left. That's their pro problem. So, that's what <laughs> so you know more than all of them. Yeah. To now, be you're... fair, Chelsea never play 4-2-3-1. Oh, they one. don't, they play 4 So technically, I guess they have to play him left because they wouldn't really trust him to be one of those three midfielders because it's about work and that's what he don't do. Oh, so, run. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got really. the ball. Yeah, he's a <laughs> so who, he doesn't so run up you're, and down, you're, but he fits. I'm tempted to go for Leroy Sane. See, this oh, is the thing, though. So I would more go with Sterling left side. We're going to dismiss Mane. I'm Sterling Oh, wait. Hold on a minute. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Don't you dare say no, Salah. Hold on. Wait a minute. What? Let's do it the left. 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 Let's do it Jesus. Sorry. So two votes for Mane. I'm going Sane. Sane, I'm going, Mane. Wait, who's, yeah, Mane. Did you say Mane? Mm. Okay. Oh, I guess I've lost. Eight goals, nine assists. Has like, and you're not saying inconsistent. But oh, come on, man. He didn't get that one in one game. <laughs> so like, no, but like Terry said, there's, there's a few games right that he'll be good. Yeah. Then he'll go missing for four. Then he'll been... play well. No, then he'll go I missing. I believe that's a stick we... It has, it's used to, for him when we talk about his, his no, career. No, no, I mean, but this season... Team, I kept saying two points, two points, one point, two points. I'm like, <laughs> what's this, bro? Because I'm going to create a goal. Don't get booked, bro. Like, nah, man. I said before, Hazard reminds... Like, again, I think he's technically better, but he reminds me of Wayne Rooney. Like Wayne Rooney, when he was hot, was uh, was almost unplayable. But then mm-hmm. he'd go through those patches, and right, I'm not yeah, just yeah, yeah. okay. Rooney, but the one thing Rooney had over Hazard, he would work hard, come back, tackle. He'd run around a bit more and be busier. When Hazard isn't creating, assisting, and scoring, I don't see much. He That's looked, what I mean. But he's pretty. No, but, no, he's pretty. But, but, okay, okay, <laughs> but, pretty but the question watch. is, because is Sari asking that of him? I don't know if he even can do that, mm. like the, the high press and, that Mane does, but is Sari asking of that? Maybe. Because oh, we know that Jose... We're asking. We know to, In this team, we're asking. Saying, we know Jose <laughs> asks it of him, like in Atletico, and he wasn't doing it. But if Sari's telling him, like Barca used to do with Ronaldinho, just stay up there. Yeah. Like PSG with Neymar and Bam, yeah. just stay up there. Okay. You can't fool him if the tactics are, just stay up there. Yeah, so who are we going with here? Mane or, it or Hazard? Mane's one. It's Mane. 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 I like Mane. 
I wouldn't have picked him, but <laughs> so I like him. The right right. Side so now the right hand side of it. So I'll go to you straight away. You've said no Salah instantly. I don't understand how it can't be him. I mean, well, I he's know he's been playing up front. Yeah, but we weren't allowed to put him in the striker role, so surely on that list he mm. must be in well, the midfield. Yeah, but, you, 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 the... Could, you could you could have put him in either. I mean, I still see him as someone who I see him more. I, I see him up yeah. like right hand side. Yeah, yeah. 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 With the way you what play. We do, what we're doing right now is we're kind of rotating. Even if you notice, yeah. Mane comes over. Can I just say about about the, about the uh, the Salah thing? I think that he's had a, like the Bournemouth game. Like he was back oh. to his best. That my issue with Mo Salah this season is he scored he scored a lot of goals. Scored a lot of goals, but the big games. I feel like he's. I feel like he's gone missing in them. In terms of what I expect from a player Which of his quality. Which big game though? He played well. Apart from Napoli, Napoli is the only game his, his, his record in the big game games games flopped. And that's and that's for me in terms of same as what I've said about Hazard. That's not just <clears> his statistics. That's also the performance from him as well, from the standard I hold I, I hold him in high regards of. Shows how great a player he is because he's still banged yeah, in goals. Mm. For me, you guys have your own say. I just don't think you can look past Raheem Sterling this season. Yeah, yeah. For me, he is yeah. the player of the yeah. season. And that was why I said Sterling I would Because I'm sure he plays more left you than City, though. Right? Um, just, I'm just, sure he plays more left. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see, see where it is, when Mendy was fit and when he mm. plays, Sane was dropped um, and mm. Sterling played on the left. Yeah, so since Mane, yeah, since Mendy's Mahrez been, was playing right, yeah. was he? Yeah, so, since Sane left, Sterling right. Since Mendy's been injured, they've put Sane on the left. I won't hate on Sterling. I won't hate on Sterling. Now, Mo did have like about four or five, six games at the beginning where he wasn't good. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, I'm not going to hate, I'm not going to hate on, on Sterling. Sterling's been phenomenal, dude. That's yeah. why I well, that's, would I suppose, have put what, him as my number 10. What we've got 10. to say is we've got one place left and the kind of options that you have to go in there are Ryan Fraser, as an example. Yeah. William's actually on the list, by the way. Just listen <laughs> to the Chelsea fans. Like, William made madness, the shortlist. Madness. So, you've got Ryan Fraser as an example. <clears throat> you have Mo Salah, of course. You've got Shakiri. You've got Mares, Sane, Bernardo Silva, Raheem Sterling have all made yeah, the list. City. Lucas Moura has made the list. Chris um, well at the beginning. Yeah. 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 Chris, well Christian Eriksen has made the list. Of course, Harry Kane's there as well. Um, it, it's one of those things. I mean, there's been really good... Eriksen's had a good season, I think. When you look at all four of those City players, you, you could probably make an argument for all of them to be in and around <laughs> that team because of how mm. good they've been. That's why my... my attacking three behind the striker is literally all six. Oh yeah, so it's Sane, Sane, Silva, uh, Sterling. Yeah. I'm not, I, I won't hate on Sterling. What about yourself, have hope? Who you do know you? him, Sterling for sure. Yeah, for sure. Sterling, Sterling. Sterling can makes I just it say, before we to the behest confirm, of Chelsea fans. Can we just, before we confirm the 11. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, then it got a nice delayed laugh. I like that, I like that, I like that. Of, of the 16 games that Hazard's played this season, only four he hasn't contributed a goal or an assist. This guy's still going on about No, I'm just about. saying. Well, so you had him in your fantasy team in the wrong game. That's what I'm saying. The, four, <laughs> he the wrong four games. Mad. He was getting me <laughs> so but mad. But the man has contributed. Okay. He has. He's, he's dumb. Let's not yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm he not saying he's crap. Do you, no know what it is? Do you know what it is? My hazard thing. I want to put this out there because I know that D the Danny, the Chelsea fan, will be getting, getting his knickers in a, in a big twist. I think he's a top, top player. I, my big debate a few months ago was that I just don't think he is like on the, on the top three Messi, Ronaldo sort of level like Ronaldo, some God. like some people said we're not going into that one <laughs> like it, not on that debate i think he's a top class player i think he's one of the best in the premier league but it, we look at that the the, the, the attacking three we've picked behind St i get i would put him in personally over Mane this season like that's what i would mm. do um i wouldn't play him as a number 10 as you suggested i've never been that impressive with him centrally whether it's been the number 10 or a false nine position mm. that i've seen him play in so i think silver has to go there i would personally put him in the team over Mane. Um, but then on the right hand side, I mean Raheem Sterling for me. Who would you pick though, guys, as your your overall player of the season thus far? Was was it player of the season or player of the year? Player of the Premier League season so far. So only halfway through the season so far. Yes, oh, um... August to May. Hmm? Oh, okay. okay. So, oh man, you know so, what? So, 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 this past season or last past season? 2018 19. This current okay, campaign, okay, okay. yeah. We're yeah, yeah, halfway yeah, through yeah, it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, half, half, half year appraisal. I, I, you know, I, I, Might be Sterling. I would have it? to say Sterling. I think it has to be Sterling. Has I think it has to be Sterling. Yeah. Um, the consistency from start yeah. to, to yeah, now. Yeah, like he's been there's, there's, at no much. point has he been. What about Van Dyke? Do you know what? I was just about to say that because. I'm not going to lie to you. This guy's an absolute animal. It's not a hype, people. This shit is real. <laughs> yeah. I've witnessed it for 12 months now. It is real. It's not a hype. He is an outstanding... I think based, based on impact, Van Dyke, as in based on... Mm. The amount a, a new player has come and totally reshaped and impacted the team, but I think Van Dyke has... You can't base on that because you know, that means you penalise everyone who didn't 
get signed this year. Yeah, so it's, it's Cause not because Sterling's not going to have that impact from... because he's been he was he joined X yeah. Y Z yeah uh, years ago. The, you have no if, point because yeah, always, I'm, I'm, I can't say like, it's always, it's always hard to choose a defender when you think of the player of the year. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah so it's you have a point. Van Dijk well, no, no, has been immense. This it's year. not basically. I think for me, Van Dijk for you because you say he's the best. Oh yeah, he still is. No, but no, but Van Dijk and Sterling, I think. That's a debate. You know what? That's yeah, a, debate. a debate. Yeah, like, it's, it's not 100%. Do you know what I'm saying? more important to their team. That's a, that's a massive oh, debate. Van Dyke. Like, Van Dijk. like City can survive but without you Sterling. You say that. You say that, but you, you look take... at him. Uh, I know. Sterling the goes as well. City. Come on. I, I, I'm real. If, if, if Sterling, if you take Sterling mm. out of City, they will collapse. Take Van Dyke out of Liverpool. Lovren and those boys will start conceding those Gs. Yeah, so I, hold, I, on, I hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You forget we've got Gomez. Do you, know, do, do you know what the interesting <laughs> statistic that they released really on Monday Night Football was that Liverpool actually at this point, stage of the season have conceded the same amount of within within a, a goal or two about the same amount of chances and conceded about the same amount of shots on goal as they did this time last year. The mm. difference in their goal tally has been because the goal saving rate has gone from around 60% to about 87%. Mm, yeah. So as, as great as Van Dijk has been, they've still conceded about the same amount of chances against them and had about the same amount of shots what, on goal. What, what what would be probably even more, it's going more deals, how much clear cut chances? Are they, are they shots that's, that's from the outside key. the box? Are they yeah. from angles? That's, that's the because, because, like, because it's because because saving like, them. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. No, no, because but, but like, if, yeah. if, if Van Dijk and uh, mm. Cole are I'm just trying to help Raheem long... Sterling a little bit. I know, yeah. If they're restricting them to long range shots, then... I think the one thing you said about Raheem Sterling, and that was a big issue last week, I don't think it's just a last week thing whether it be racial or whether it just be pure abuse I think one thing I love about Raheem Sterling is I don't know if I've met a stronger football player in terms of he doesn't even seem phased by mm. any of it like some people you know some footballers have a bad you know break up with him break up with their missus and they spend six months on, on the drugs you know on the drink and whatever like what that mm. man has been through what his family gets subjected to and the fact that he turns up every week and performs and Raheem Sterling's done something which we, I, I can't remember the last English player who did this Harry strikers do it I'm talking more like midfielders and attacking players every single time you see goal on the video printer you, you just seem to always see Raheem Sterling's name now you know, Lampard, Lampard was the last guy I remember doing an English yeah. guy where every time Chelsea scored it was like, oh, Lampard scored again and I think what he's done is brilliant but I think there is a great debate there between Raheem Sterling and Van Dijk and what we'll do we will add a poll um, onto the YouTube video. What's the point? Liverpool's going to win it because most of the people in your comments are Liverpool. You're not going to get no Man City fans in there. Yeah, but you might get objective football fans. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, it still exists. Do you it's know what? If Van Dyke wins it by like 80 to 20, then we know it's sabotage. You know, because... you know Drifty's shared it yeah, on yeah, his social. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drifty, <laughs> like, Drifty, New, Drifty, New York comes back. Drifty, <laughs> Drifty, Drifty, we don't know. Drifty's got something like 125 like YouTube accounts. <laughs> yeah. Log in small one by one. Ding, 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 ding. But our team, that you, yeah, our team that you can now see up on the screen, David De Gea in goal, a back four of Doherty. Um... That's how you pronounce it. Yeah, yeah, yeah Doherty. No, not as in like. Oh yeah, in yeah, Doherty yeah, is like, in there. Van you Dyke. Here, you're present. <laughs> yeah, he ain't present anyway. I told you, <laughs> crack it, bro. crack it. He's still upset, upset about Hazard. He'll <laughs> <laughs> it, be talking about that in three videos time. It'll be 2020, and he'll still no, be talking no, about I will, it. I will actually. Like, I will. <laughs> um, yeah, so Doherty, Van Dyke, uh, Laporte, uh, Robertson as the back four, two holding midfield players of Torreira and Fernandinho. Three men behind the striker. On the right-hand side, Raheem Sterling in the number 10 position. P potentially the best number 10 that the Premier League has ever seen in David Silva. Mane on the left-hand side of the attack. And a big shout-out to Callum Wilson. And I think it's a nice unbiased team as well. We've got yeah. a couple of players from lower teams. Actually, we've got three players from three mid-table teams. You've got Wolves. Except, mate. Oh, no, you've got, right, you've got, yeah, you, you've got, <laughs> you've got Wolves, Bournemouth and Man United. Mid-table teams represented <laughs> I love there. It, I love it, I love it. Um, just to let everyone know, I, I can now laugh at my club again because Jose is gone. So I'm actually happy. Um, three City players, three, sorry, four City players, three Liverpool and one Arsenal. I think a fair reflection, really. Yeah, um, no Tottenham. <laughs> Where is justice for Sasoka? <laughs> I wish yeah, I could have seen that. Yeah, but it's, it's just in terms of player for player, they you haven't. Got you two at the back, man. Be, be easy, man. Yeah. Be good. There we go. And I'm happy because there's no Salah. There we go. Just I know Liverpool fans are going to be boiling some of their urination now. Listen, thank you all for tuning in as ever. Please smash that like button. Tomorrow, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. If you celebrate it, if you don't, just have a nice day off and chill. Spend time with the family. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Take thank care. You, God you. bless. And we'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Get all your football news as it breaks with Football Flash.